Land is the most important socio-economic resource in Ghana. A whopping 70% of Ghana's economic sustenance comes from agriculture, forestry, and mining. Ghanaian society has reflected by its cultural organization in regards to tribal lineage, chieftaincy and property ownership is intricately related to land. Land holds the key to development. And in Ghana in particular, you find that land has not only an economic um, uh, capacity, it also has tremendous social and cultural implications for us. Over the years, land management in the country was characterized by a myriad of constraints and problems, including land ownership disputes among families, communities, and ethnic groups all over the country. The problems were numerous. Traditional authorities were fighting over land. Uh, we had lots of uh, litigations on the titling of land, uh, clear, several claimants for uh, portions of lands. And if you got to the land, administration itself, the authorities responsible for land administration. There were instances of double registrations of property uh, land. If you file the land case, it could take you about six years, between six and even ten years in some cases, to get your matter or your land case heard. The land sector was bedeviled with numerous siren lists, most of them resulting from inadequate surveyed boundaries, where we have multiple sale of land. We also had a lot of land grabbing issues. Then we had to contend with the menace of land gas. And then of course there was a general indiscipline in the land market where people were selling land here and there without any proper do documentation. In association with this was also the difficulty with local authority and planning authorities to be able to control the rapid pace at which urban areas were developing. Registration was one of the problems that people really encountered that showed the problems that the land sector agencies were going through. Prior to Lap 1, there were only two registries in the country. There was one in Accra that was supposed to take care of the southern sector and then one in Kumase that was taking care of the northern sector. In fact, data gathered at the time that the project started indicated that it took almost 36 months for people to attain uh, their registered documents. In terms of the administration, we realized that there was a lot of pressure on the delivery of the land uh, agencies, both at the government level and then the traditional level. We saw that there were duplication of efforts by land sector agencies, and also there was inadequate record keeping at the traditional setup. Above all this was a lack of comprehensive policy generally on land. So it was necessary at a certain point for a land policy to evolve. In 1999, the government of Ghana launched the national land policy. The policy outlined long-term land administration reform processes with the aim of stimulating economic development, reduce poverty, and promote social stability, as well as ensuring transparency in land issues. The government of the day wanted the actions indicated in the policy to be implemented, and that was why the land administration project, which is LAP, was designed. The land administration project, LAP, was initiated in 2003 to implement the policy. The land administration project is an intervention by the government in the land sector to streamline land delivery services across the country. First of all, it was to look at the legislative regime in the country. Then also we were looking at spatial data and other issues relating to institutions in the country. The government, through the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources, partnered with the World Bank and other donor agencies, including the Canadian International Development Agency, to fund the Land Administration Project. Well, Canada is, uh, is one of the two partners uh, uh, working uh, with the government of Ghana in terms of implementing the Land Administration Project. When we were approached by the bank to engage with them, we thought it would be a strategic uh, uh, partnership that we could establish with the bank. And uh, we embarked on this uh, with them uh, during lap one. We provided 
$1.5 million and we provided very close monitoring, uh, which ensured that uh, we were satisfied with the outcomes of the project. The bank decided to um, uh, get itself involved, one, because um, the project was Ghana government-led, which, um, you know, guaranteed ownership for the project because it's um, an activity to help government to implement this uh, land policy. And two, because it's also inconsistent with uh, our country partnership strategy. The initial rule of parliament was to approve the facility for the implementation of the project. L Lab came in to bring some order into the confusion that existed at the time. That land came to bring together the stakeholders in the land administration system for us to sit and address the varied issues that each individual stakeholder faces when it comes to addressing land-related issues. Hatch and Associates developed the project preparation plan, the Hatch Report. Essentially, we, we could look at areas like Taiwan where Hatch Associates had carried out a similar uh, activity. But what we did really was to look at our own local circumstances. Got the kind of things we see in this country, our land tenure system and so on. Um, even though we are Africans, ours is unique in a way because of the, the, the fact that our constitution protects land ownership by traditional authorities. In many countries, in Nigeria for example, you don't have that. They have the Land Use Act which has virtually nationalized all land in Nigeria. We haven't got that. There were four components on the land administration project one. First was component was harmonizing the regulatory framework, which is bringing all the 166 there are about land related laws and regulations, harmonizing them with a customary law because custom traditional authorities also transact land business at the local traditional area. There were several laws governing the sector. And so in the new thinking, all these laws related to land will be consolidated. And so under lab, uh, these laws will be re-looked really at, properly consolidated, so that uh, we do not have overlap. Company two is the institutional reform. Here to be followed up when there were six land sector agencies. So these six institutions were to be merged. Component three is improving land tattering system, valuation, land use planning, uh, GIS, etc. Because these are where the activities of the six land sector agencies are to improve the way they're doing it by providing logistics, training, etc. Component four is project management, monitoring and evaluation. This is where the project implementation process takes place through what we call project coordinating unit at the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources. The project coordinating unit, basically as the name suggests, is coordinating all the activities under the project. So we ensure that the agencies are provided with the resources that they need. We ensure that we coordinate and collate all the work plans with the establishment of LAB, the results expected by all stakeholders and beneficiaries will be the facilitation of sustainable development, clear, coherent and consistent land administration policies and laws, land sector institutional reforms, environmental management and most importantly, poverty reduction in Ghana. We also see that land is really something that can bring people out of poverty. We in the land sector have the view that land is a dead capital that is yet to be on earth. So we anticipate that once people are able to register their property, they can use it for various other purposes, including using it as collateral for property to do businesses, including using it for mortgage purposes. We also anticipate that if we have properly registered lands in the country, we are going to have a lot of investors coming in because these lands will then be litigation free and people will feel free to work on these lands. It is going to generate jobs for people to do and people will have peace of mind generally.